Now, you're never too young to learn about science. Next week, Imagination Station, well, they're going to prove it. But today, they're here to give us a bit of a preview. Friend Carl Nelson is here, and he's going to show us how to make, well, this goes by various different names, but does. elephant's toothpaste. Elephant's toothpaste is one. Old foamy is another. Okay. Um, and you'll see why here in a second. But um, we're going to work with hydrogen peroxide. Okay, very right. common household Stuff product. Everyone's got a bottle or two laying around. Absolutely. And the interesting thing about this is it's h 2 O2. Okay. So you can think of it as like water with an extra oxygen atom, yeah. if you will. Not the H2O. Right. Just water. Exactly. You're okay. on top of this. That's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to release all that oxygen by okay. adding a catalyst to the hydrogen peroxide. Catalyst is something that just gets this puppy going, right? Exactly. All that right. does not get involved with the reaction. In fact, this stuff is always breaking down. That's why it comes in the brown bottle. Keep the light away from really? it. Keep it cool. I always wondered that. Let it sit around for a year and you have a bottle of water. Okay. So go ahead and pop your glasses on here. Sure. Since we've got some chemical action that's going to happen here. I've got some 30% hydrogen peroxide. The stuff you home have at home is 3%. Okay, so, so a concentrated version of it? Very concentrated. All right, because you're the man, you bring the concentrated that's stuff. Right. Okay. That's right, it's, it's way cooler with the concentrated. All right. Now, I have a tiny little beaker there for you, a little micro beaker filled with am a I, catalyst. Okay, am, and am I allowed to know what the catalyst is? Sodium iodide. Okay. So why don't you just go ahead and pour that in quickly into that container. Okay. And take your hand away. Pretty right. cool. It's releasing tons of oxygen. If you stick your hand over the top, you can feel, what does it feel like? It's hot. It's warm. It's an exothermic reaction. Now, that's cool. Really? But what would be cooler is if you could do that on a bigger scale okay. and capture all the bubbles okay. in a foam. All right. All right. And that's what we got set up here. I like so the sound of this. Let's, <laughs> let's get everything bigger and better. All righty. So we're going to do the real deal right over here, okay? We've got some dish soap. So go ahead and pour some dish soap into our hydrogen peroxide. How much are we thinking here? A uh, good dash. Good dash. Is that good? Yeah, give it another dash. Give it another dash. And then uh, go ahead and juice me up over here as okay, well. Okay, same amount? Same deal. Yeah, we're just going to throw one, that in there. Mix it up a little bit. Two. Now we've got okay. hydrogen peroxide with some soap in there. All right. Hopefully that soap will help us catch all those bubbles you saw over there. All right. Now, that's kind of cool, but food coloring is also fun too. Makes, yeah. Let's, let's add a little, add a dash of food coloring there. Okay. Or a dash or just dump the whole thing in, whatever. Whatever makes you When we're happy. talking about science, that's, that's our exact amount there. Dash, throw the whole thing in. Throw the whole thing in. All okay. right. I'm going to try this first. We're going to see what happens with this big Alrighty. one. We're going to save yours. Go ahead and hold your catalyst there. Open Alrighty. that up and get ready to pour it in. But first, we're going to add the sodium iodide and see what happens here. Here we go. As it starts to release that oxygen, we get a, a little buildup of <laughs> foam that sort of comes out. And it continues and continues and continues. Now, Chris, for you, <laughs> you're just going to get lost here almost. I don't want to overshadow you, Chris, though, because right. okay. yours is actually... And this is warm again, too. It is. It's an wow. exothermic reaction, giving off heat. Now, <laughs> you have the flask here. It's okay. going to build up a little bit of pressure, and okay. um, you have the super concentrated uh, catalyst. catalyst. So okay. go ahead and pour that in quickly. All righty. And then you might want to just, like, take a step back. And now you'll see why I was looking up in the studio when I came in. Yeah, Carl comes into the studio. <laughs> First thing he does is he stands here. He looks up at the ceiling. So I've never seen this before. I'll dump it all in, and dump I'll take a quickly. step back. Pour it in. Take a step back. Nice. Huh? <laughs> Not cool? <laughs> Very so, cool right there. Just building up a little okay. pressure, and it shoots right up in the air, and we were totally clear overhead. By so the that was shape nice. of the actual beaker? Yeah, the flask the actually flask. builds up a little pressure inside there and ejects it um, up in the air, whereas this one sort of came out, fell over, and then it's expanded laterally. This one builds up a little pressure and shoots right up. Same catalyst that we had in here? Same catalyst, okay. just a little bit stronger. Okay, and again, the catalyst puts this whole exothermal it, yeah, it, reaction it in It breaks the place. that extra oxygen atom away from the hydrogen peroxide, allows it to build up the foam that you're seeing here, which is continuing to, to build up, and uh, releases oxygen gas. I'll tell you what, you guys do the coolest things at the Imagination <laughs> Station. You got a lot coming up the next week. We do. Uh, little Scientist Week, starting next Tuesday. Okay. Um, and Sid the Science Kid is coming in as well. Very fun. So lots of fun stuff. So you guys will be you guys will be jamming packed with that right there. <laughs> this thing is still going right here. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna, gonna be, be consumed. <laughs> and it's still really it, it, is. it is warm, and you can see the steam coming off. You probably don't want to touch it because it does have a little bit of that iodine in it. It might stain your nice jacket there. So I was gonna use it for shaving. Cream. I wouldn't use that. Probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. Leave no. the chemicals on the table right here. <laughs> Very cool experiment that you uh, came in here and showed us today, Carl. Uh, appreciate it. And do want to pass along all that information for you guys. Starting next Tuesday, it is Little Scientist Week, as Carl yep. mentioned, and that is going through the 15th. Now the whole thing is geared toward kids between the ages of three and eight. So if 
if you have kids, maybe sitting around after winter break, still looking to get out of the house and do something three to eight. That is what you're looking for. On top of that, Sid the Kid from PBS will be doing workshops with the kids next Friday and Saturday, beginning at 11 o'clock. And of course, the website has all the information as yep. well. Folks Absolutely. at home want to get linked up and hooked up with that. Carl, you are welcome anytime in all here. Right. We can talk science, do science <laughs> experiments. Time we have things bubbling up and shooting out. It's always fun. It's always fun. Always good science. All right.